Randonautica is an app for your smartphone where you do randonauting. You set your intention before visiting a location in hopes that you'll discover what you're looking for. These locations are randomly generated by using a quantum random number generator. It is believed by many that in doing this, they can break out of their daily routine and find coincidences or occurrences outside their usual patterns of experience. Many on TikTok and YouTube have made videos about their trips, but one in particular is making headlines. That is where a group of girls found a dead body inside of a suitcase during their travels. A little less dramatic, but still scary. Here are five more spooky stories of what people have found while out randonauting. So my mom and I decided to try the app tonight at 1 a.m. and asked it to take us somewhere haunted. We're paranormal freaks. It took us to some field on the edge of a highway that had a gate in front of it. We walked up to it just to see what we could see, and a guy started walking out from a nearby house. Thinking, oh shit, we're about to get yelled at for trying to trespass, we head back to where the car is parked to let him know we're not a threat when he asks us if we saw the lights in the field. We were confused, but intrigued, and asked him to elaborate. He said that he's seen lights in that field that he can't explain, so much so that he set up a trail cam to try and catch more. He said stuff moves in his house, and he thought people were messing with him. He even said every time he's working outside, it sounds like someone is calling his name from the field. So essentially, it's haunted as fuck. Gotta say, the app succeeded, and now my mom is hooked. My girlfriend and I tried the app for the first time two hours ago in the dark with the intent of experiencing something crazy. We knew about Randonautica through paranormal YouTube videos, so we wanted to have a terrifying experience. The first two locations were kinda unfitting because of private properties, but on the third try we used the option void and as intent I tried to focus on feeling absolutely terrified. We were driving in the car to the coordinates and it led us through high fields on a really rural road. When we got closer we saw another car already at the spot where we wanted to stop so we could walk the rest of the way. As we drove closer, it drove away like it noticed us, and we waited until we couldn't see it anymore. There's no way someone just drives there by accident considering the state of the road. We then parked the car right at the huge windmill that was basically marking the way to the location for us. After being too scared to go out of the car for like 10 minutes, we finally managed to have the courage and we got out and started walking. That's when my girlfriend started recording everything just in case something happens. If I had to guess, the spot was a foot walk of around 30 meters, and as we were halfway there we heard loud noises from the direction of the windmill where I had parked the car. It sounded like someone loudly ran up or down the metal stairway at its entrance. That's when we started to become nervous, but we figured this was probably just the machinery inside making the noises. But then they happened a couple more times, and considering our car was right next to these sounds, I was worried someone might be there, especially because of the car we saw right before us. We then decided to head back to the car, but while we were walking we started hearing more sounds like someone was following us in the bushes, and we occasionally saw something coming towards us from the direction of the windmill, but we kept walking. Right as we got closer to the car, we heard a loud sound again, so we just started running and drove away immediately. Like I said, we recorded everything and the sounds from the windmill are really clear on the recording. So if there's some interest, I can post it here. We definitely plan on doing more scary exploring. So currently, I was bored and decided to try Randonautica. Let me tell you that I enjoy exploring even though sometimes pretty bad things have happened while exploring. So four years ago, a friend and I wanted to shoot a video and some pictures for a project about nature, and we ventured into a forest near where I live. Usually people don't go that deep, because it isn't that well explored. So we decided to explore, and we found a beautiful landscape with flowers, and 30 meters away, there was this abandoned white house. And above it, there was a small mountain in which we climbed and found an artificial lake or swimming pool. 
Now, let me tell you that my entire life, I had a connection with the supernatural or paranormal things. So when I feel some place is dangerous to be in, it is. But I quietly brush it off to not appear as a crazy person in front of people, so I stayed put. So we took pictures of the place and made the video of the project and we had to leave. We were at the lake and the only way to go down is past the abandoned house. Climbing up the mountain, I glanced inside the house and found what might be bones and ashes piled in a corner, but they didn't look recent so I let it pass. The funny thing is, is that when we wanted to leave, a crazy guy with a huge black dog came out of the house and started screaming. He was in the first floor so he had to go down the stairs to reach us. He started screaming at us because he couldn't reach so he pulled a shotgun. My friend and I just bolted from the hill and escaped into the woods to avoid being shot. All of this in 30 seconds. Let me tell you, we aren't athletic at all, but the speed we were running was incredible. I stopped in midwoods because I was tired and just started walking. My friend went and sat somewhere safe while having a panic attack. Once we were calmed down, we started making theories and we left it at that we had just trespassed on private property. But we went back a couple of months later with four other people and there were cameras everywhere in the paths but the house was destroyed and the lake was nowhere to be seen. And I just went stone cold when Randonautica gave me the exact same spot. As a side note, in my country, any type of guns or weapons are illegal, and even law enforcement don't have them, so it is quite difficult to have one. I'll admit, I only found out about this app after hearing about those girls on TikTok. Now, I didn't want to find anything like that, but I am into spooky stuff. So I set my intent to spooky and generated a place. I checked it out on Google Maps because I've heard so many stories about people being sent to private property. The place it was sending me to was an open field a mile or so away. It didn't look too scary, but sometimes it's the journey that gives you what you're looking for. So I went ahead and started to walk. I haven't lived in this area for long, having only moved right before the pandemic, so I had never been down some of these streets before. This must have been the older part of town, because a lot of the houses were run down and dilapidated. This was giving me some weird vibes, but not exactly what I had in mind. That was until I got to the end of the street. I could see the field across the road. In the middle of the field was a tall tree. Under the tree, there was a guy in one of those large horse masks. You know the kind you see people making funny videos in, but this wasn't funny. He was under the tree digging a hole and by him was a pretty large trash bag. I'm not saying it was a human body because it was too small for that, but I don't know what he was going to bury and I wasn't about to find out. Honestly, if anything, I'm thinking it was drugs or something. By the looks of the neighborhood around me, I'd believe that first. I turned and ran so fast from there that you wouldn't believe. Yeah, that was definitely some spooky shit. Like others, I've been watching paranormal YouTube channels play around with this app, and my friend and I decided to try it because it seemed so fake. The first few times, absolutely nothing happened. The trips were boring and mostly a waste of time. Still, a couple of nights ago we had nothing to do and decided that it would at least get us out of the house. We are both low-key ghost hunters, who have had limited success with that as well, so this time we decided our intent would be ghost. We took only a small kit with us, since we didn't think anything would happen. We grabbed the infrared thermometer, night vision, and our EMF reader. I know the app says best not to go out at night, but that's the best time for what we're looking for. Midnight rolls around and we start out to our point. It was on the outskirts of downtown in an office park. We got there and started to explore. Some mild magnetic variation at first, but nothing major. In the middle of this park is a pond, and we were kind of feeling attracted to it for some reason. It's not a huge pond, and I was on one side with the EMF, while my buddy was on the other side with the night vision. Soon, he yells at me to get over there. He's seeing weird flashes. There's not much light around us and he's looking out towards an empty lot. No road on that side so it couldn't have been headlights. I get over there and my EMF starts squawking at me. The needle is bouncing all over the place. 
we begin to take temperature readings, and out towards the empty lot, away from the pond, there is definitely a cold spot. We figured if anything, a cold spot would be near the pond, due to natural temperature drops around water, but it was in the opposite direction. There wasn't much else to do with only the bit of gear we brought, so we headed back home to make plans and prep to go back. I did a bit of research on that office park, and it's been around since the 1990s, but back in the 40s, there used to be a tenant building there, where a couple of homicides had taken place. We plan to go back there, and we'll update you if anything else is found.